Hey, what is up everyone? Brian with you from the Game Company. We're playing some more Galactic Civilization 4, continuing here with our Zaloxy campaign, which, you know, we started off in a zone or a sector all by ourselves, which is nice, but we do now have people trying to take over our sector, at least move in, which is a little frustrating. Um, not really in a position to be able to fight them, because, you know, you know, we're, we're playing on a high difficulty level, which actually, that begs the question, what is their military? Their second, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 you're third and you're first. All right, so the three people I know all have like the best militaries in the game. That's fine, that's fine. We do have three systems right now, but they're all kind of crap as we are trying to get, you know, some production going, um, need to get some asteroids going. There's just a lot we need to do at this point. Really, I'm hoping to get these asteroid worlds here pretty quickly. Do we have another system being settled? No, we don't have another now okay and we are eight turns away from taking over kotel kotov 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 probably kotov um okay you're taking a little while i was wondering what was going on there survey you gained uh some experience points okay this is fine uh we got a lot of stuff here to go explore or to take um let's not do the one that's gonna cause damage to us because we still have a lot of hp to regain we're really hoping for something that's gonna boost our science but it doesn't seem like that's happening right now you were gonna go so apparently if we're going kinetic i was told we need promethean uh existence promethean necessary no uh duranium every navy in starbase you know we probably could figure that out here uh so we want to go tech navigator then we are looking at i mean i don't mind lasers either uh armor missile kinetic weapons okay Increase the power of our kinetic weapons. Increase the power of our kinetic weapons. <laughs> I love how that's all it does. Uh, basic kinetic weapons, rail gun. So this is what I want to see here is I want to see what the rail gun. Uh, is there no help? Hmm. 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 I love how our military advisors telling us to do that, which, you know. 100% agree with them. I wonder... Our fleet's still just absolute crap. But I wonder... Yeah, we're in last. I'm wondering if we keep our fleet right here, if we'd be able to defend. If we took over Brecca. Yeah, I do wonder on that. Probably couldn't. But we also really need to work on getting some food. Because our people are kind of unhappy. Um, especially our new system over here. They are they're they're very quite unhappy right now. So yeah. Also, I'm not used to our symbol above our planet, so I'm like, wait, who's taking over my planet? I'm still kind of used to the human one. So you're just gonna keep skipping for now because there's not really much to do. Keep advancing. They do have some ships, so I think we're gonna have to put eh, only three, but I think we're gonna have to put our troop transport in this fleet. Which we have logistics for, right? Mmm, 10 to 10. No. Um. Actually, don't we have a policy for that? No, maybe actually? Crime, coerce, logistics. Yeah, we do have bureaucracy. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if we can get rid of... I think I'm gonna get rid of land, um... Ah, I mean, I hate the extra pollution. I really do. Yeah, I really, really do. Gross income for military, I don't really like. That's just horrible. Although the nice thing about that is that would get rid of our food problem. I wonder if that only pops up if you're like out of food. Because I don't remember seeing that before. Mm-mm. Artifacts, let's see, what do we got here? We got uh, damage to hit points. We got usable tiles and farming. Okay, let's throw that on our main planet here which is going to give us extra usable tiles wait why did i do it there brian because this planet will never be able to farm well ah, i'm gonna reload that i'm gonna totally cheat right now and you guys are gonna have to just deal with it because that was just a mistake that i didn't even think about honestly i'm still in the mindset that like we have earth <laughs> and it's like oh yeah earth's a great planet which can do everything no not really no no so that's kind of 
kind of a bad planet, to be honest. I mean, that's, I guess, what... Ha like, that's the one interesting thing here about, like, these different races. So, like, we're focused on desert planets. Like, that's our primary one, which means we're never going to be able to get food, which how then do we actually then survive? Like, there almost needs to be, like, desert... Um, uh, like some sort of ability to grow food on desert planets for us like right um, okay so we're gonna go on Cirrus on that one because this one already has good farming well we'll have good farming still really really bad with everything but you know uh, morale is sad whatever whatever are we in first place on morale we're number one in approval I mean that is like hilarious <laughs> Our people hate us <laughs> God, how bad is the AI government, man? Jeez. Like, oh, this is kind of crazy. It's actually really hilarious. Um, uh, yeah, so we're still waiting for the turn to end here. Retribution. We could grab another leader here soon. Actually, we probably have enough for another leader. Mm, we could do a diplomat. Could do a diplomat. What was the other thing we were looking? I mean, we could throw someone here. We did take someone out of our science, but it wasn't really adding a whole lot. Whatever happened to the person that had like the super intelligence? I think they went away. Unless I put them in charge of one of the planets here. No, they must have disappeared, which is kind of disappointing because yeah, they were awesome. They were amazing. You're an asteroid miner. So we did finish the first asteroid miner. Do we want to go here, which is going to go to Cirrus, or do we somehow get you all the way over there? I think we just got to somehow get you all the way over there, which admittedly is going to be really slow and not particularly fun. All right, let's go blow you up again. Thank you for, you know, bringing your ships out one at a time. I do appreciate it. I do enjoy the extra XP we're getting. So cool. Nice. Beautiful. We are five turns away, all right. Hey, we can actually build something in Savat. So we built the recreation, which is plus three. It's giving us 3% approval. Wait, really? It only gives 3% approval? Oh, interesting. I kind of figured it would give us a little more than that. Well, that's awkward. Let's see, we got research, research. None of those help because I can't actually do research right now. I don't really want to spend 36 turns on something right now. Military, military, hmm, hmm. Get to upgrade you for another couple percent, but... Oh, they're still plagued, too. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that starving's kind of nasty. Kind of nasty. The unprotected's also kind of stupid and annoying. I mean... There's really nothing we can do here except just keep building manufacturing. It's a really bad planet, especially since our capital city is right there. Like, this is just honestly maybe the worst capital planet we could have asked for. This is pretty horrible, especially when you consider that we're on one of the harder difficulties of the game. And then they're like, hey, you know what? We're going to give you just like maybe the worst possible planet uh, starting planet, too. It's like, oh, OK, that's fine. Um, I know we need out more asteroid miners, but I think I actually am going to build a supply ship and we're going to go drop you on to Cirrus. So, you want to give... You want my space doctrine. I don't really care about Illyrium. Can I get food? No. I mean, I'd rather have credits, honestly. Exotic mineral... I mean, uh, so here's the problem. Space Doctrine's one turn. That's 10 turns. I mean, I think this has got to be worth it. Yeah, I think I'd rather just take the money. Get another leader going? They have planetary invasion. Yeah, no, I'm good with this. I'll take this. And wait, what happened to all my money? Wait, did I... Did I pay him? That 
was... Hold up. I gotta pause. I, I, I'm gonna stop the episode here because I want to see what I just did. Give me a sec. Ah. So, I did totally didn't even notice, but I also was paying him credits in that trade deal. So... Yeah, yeah, so we ended up losing like 70 credits or something like that. I didn't realize that I actually, I, I don't know, I just saw our, all I saw was the fact that we had a tech. <laughs> I didn't look. Uh, great job, Brian. Great job, Brian. And here we were so excited about getting a leader, but you know, whatever, it's a free tech. By a free tech, I mean it's, it's a tech I didn't have before, so sure, I'll take it. You guys back up to full HP? I think they should be back up to full HP right now. Yeah, they are. And then we're going to kill you and take another one HP. That's fine. Um, I mean, at this point, literally, it's just a matter of time before you die, before I get my stuff out. Uh, Discovery is at 60. You still got a long way to go here. Let's just make sure that we're not doing artifacts that are going to get you destroyed. 25% um, towards planetary invasion. We actually finished it. Oh, my God. 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 Um, um, why don't I have the option here? Yeah, I don't know. Probably just do research districts at this point, but well, why can't I build? My ships. Cargo transport. Equip with a... Supply transport module. Yeah, it's weird that they don't have a default transport ship for us. Which, I mean, whatever. Can you put more than one? I mean, I never actually built one before. Um, I don't like this module. Or this model. Let's see about another one here. Colony. Constructor. Freighter. Supply. No, I mean, it's this is the transport. So this is literally what should have the, uh, the, uh, uh, transport module. I wonder where they would put it. Maybe here? I don't really like that. Could do it like there. Yeah, I don't know. Limit one per ship. Okay, so you can't build more than one then. Yeah, that's fine. Then we still got two more inventory slots. Don't really care about weapons or anything like that, obviously. So then at this point, we just want to go with Promethean Drive? Wait, do we need Promethean? We do. Hmm. I will take the Unshielded Thruster, because who cares if it has less HP? If it gets attacked, it dies. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just go just take it man uh and then i think it's like shift someone mentioned to like duplicate on both sides or is it alt or something like that or is it there might be an option down there i don't really know so anyways transport m0 support sure yeah a little weird that that didn't appear automatically hmm. so transport mo and we need you first and this is something that i would rush we're almost there because the quicker we take this planet over, then the less crap we have to deal with. So, we are going to do that. Be nice if I didn't spend all my money accidentally on the wrong thing. But, you know, it happens. We also, you know, and I didn't think about this. Yeah, man, we need to get um, Oceanic Worlds here pretty dang quick. But, once again, can't really do anything about it. So, it is what it is. We also need food, which, you know, it's happening. Need you to finish soon, too, but, uh, we're glad to help. The gods have not seen fit to give us the star base. I'm going to do this, even though I really don't want to, just because I can't afford a war with them. So we want to just keep them happy at this point. Uh, Corn, are you seriously? Can we, like, stop this? Oh, my God. This is Fafnir, which I don't know what planet that is. That's not one of my main ones. Now, yeah, that's just a colony. I don't really care about that. Maybe I should have lowered the production then. Just quarantined it. Well, 
But then again, I don't know if the plague can really spread from a colony, so I don't know. I'm just glad it wasn't our capital again. Although they're already still plagued, so who cares? Because they got plagued twice. <laughs> we, we still have COVID, but COVID B? Oof, that one kicked our butt. It was the Omicron. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, so discovery should be done, I think, this turn, right? Yeah, it should be done this turn. Which, hopefully speeds up our research districts which I, I that's probably what we're going to start building here on savat is research districts um so at least we can get some science going make us happy wait we only have two pop here oh dang what happened to all our pop uh well you know the fact that we're losing food or that we have negative food and also that much pollution yeah okay that's great so let, let, let's, 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 let's just, just going to go ahead and do bureaucracy over land exploitation for now. I wonder if that lowers the pollution immediately. Yeah, it did. It literally lowered the pollution by 30%. That's kind of crazy. Um, So that like doubled the growth per month. Actually, more than doubled. But yeah, that works for us. We would love to get the artifact here. But remember, I can't actually build any of this stuff yet. So... Yeah, yeah, but at least we're in range now. Unfortunately, he could come and build star bases and steal us, steal that from us, which would be hilarious and kind of frustrating. Where were we going? We we're going for the research crystal. I remember. I remember. Uh, you don't have anything to do right now, so that's fine. How goes a rush? I'm gonna spend all of our money to rush this out. This is fine. This is acceptable, he says to himself. So, we will be able to take over Kotov here pretty quickly. And they shall know the power of the aliens that were next door to them. This is what you get for spawning in my territory, man. I don't know if we're going to try flipping them. Try criming them. I mean, the thing is, so... We trade with them. We get a bunch of crime. And then they're going to be really, really, really unhappy. We have one pop right now. That's pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, because she counts as, yeah, so the more you have, the more production you get from workers. So, yeah, it does actually make a difference. Um, but anyways, the more crime they have, the less happy their people are. The less happy their people are, the more they're susceptible then to uh, influence. So, yeah. Yeah, that actually would work for us. Um, you're still idling. Not really much to do. You can go grab this. Uh, experience points, okay. Which unfortunate is it's not really, it's just giving us XP right now, which is not really what I want. Um, what we're looking for is uh, like anything that like gives us resources or speeds up our tech, you know, anything like that. You're up to four again. Nope, two and two. Okay, that's fine. We could fully repair our ship here. I think it does recharge, so yeah, I could. Good movement here on these guys. Yeah. So we're going to go put you here. And they're all together now. Good. And we're going to be able to take over the planet next turn. Boom, baby. Wait, what? They're trading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what? No. You are not doing this. No. Well, I'm about to steal his trade partner. Sucks to be you, bud. But it's okay. Uh, research is now done. So, I think we need this. Oceanic worlds. No, we should just be able to get them. All right, let's go ahead and roll for them then. There we go. Yeah, I, I mean, we need the oceanic worlds. So... How many turns? 14 months. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Dude, they really nerfed the invasion stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't I mean they can't do anything. They could attack my fleet. I don't know. Watch them attack my fleet and kill my uh transport ship. I, I would not be shocked if that happens. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, that seems about right. That seems about right. Okay, so Savat finished. Which is great, because now we can start getting some research buildings going. Uh, you're plus two to adjacent research, so we will pop up both of these. 
and hopefully that's going to speed up our research so we can start catching up here. How goes Cirrus? We should be rushing stuff out, but that's going to be fine. Um, what's the production here? 2.9. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. It is what it is. What's our production here? 1.5. Really bad. Okay. That's why you should be rushing things out, but... Once again, there's only so much we can do right now, and we're just going to kind of live as sucky for a little bit. I mean... Any strategy game is always going to be like this in higher difficulties. The AI is always just going to absolutely destroy you to begin with. And then the whole idea is just to snowball and catch up. Okay, they ended up adding two ships here. I'm wondering if I could maybe take some of these ships and go blow them up. That's my transport. Where are my good ships? None of these guys are amazing, just for the record. So you're 2-2. Two, two. Cause we gotta leave some ships here in case he, ah, man, I think I gotta stick together. Yeah, I think I do. Such a danger right now. But I think I have to stay together. Okay, so you're done next turn, right? No, nope, two turns. Uh, housing is maxed here. Do we only end up with two? We must have only started with two housing here, which is really kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to pop on another housing district, I feel. Oh, yeah, you're working on the food first. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, I probably should get the food going. Hopefully, it's not going to take super long. So, uh, fleet needs to be moved. So, we're going to send you over here. And you're slowly getting over there. And the, yeah, that's the other thing. We are building supply ships. So that should help. Hopefully he doesn't keep popping out ships into this navy. I mean, what ultimately we could do... Hello. Kren. What ultimately we could do... Yeah, we're way stronger than them. Is... Good to hear that. Uh... If he moves all the ships out, I could go blow it up. But, you know, right now I just got to defend my big dude. All right, so you leveled. Probably just keep giving you HP. We're at 117 right now. It's kind of crazy. Um, You know, some extra movement is probably not the worst thing because he is having some trouble getting some of these anomalies. So, yeah, we'll do that for now. Then discovery survey report. Uh, progress made on retribution. Nice. Which, remember, is a free uh, ship for us, which would be really, really great to have. Um, Oceanic Worlds is 11 turns away. I would still prefer popping out uh, increased tech speed, but, you know, sure. And then you're about ready to go south, which is obviously relative, but <laughs> south on the current map we're looking at. All right, now it's west. <laughs> Kidding. Um, yeah, but let's seriously get that right. It's kind of interesting. Man, I almost think I would rather play it like that. I don't know. I kind of like the uh, isometric over the shoulder kind of view here. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's all messed up. I think it was more like this, right? Yeah, I think it was a little more tilted. Uh, except you were more like this, right? Yeah, now I completely screwed myself up. Uh, you are friendly. Yes, you are. This is fine. Just keep going this way. You're getting really close to being able to get... We still need to get the Starbase thing. Um, I wonder about potentially trading. Hi. Starbase modules is what we need. That won't work for me. Yeah, that's fine. close give you an exploration treaty and take away my tech all right would that though mean he's more likely to settle my ocean planets he does not have ocean planets yeah he can't settle ocean planets right now so yeah let's do it what's the worst that can happen right uh and then give me money and i'm not trading him money perfect the way has been served. 
Hi. I have no text you don't have. Okay. That's fine. God, those guys are freaky. <laughs> They're not as bad as the little fur balls, though. Okay, so we can actually build Starbase modules now. So... Do that. And that's going to give us the growth module. Which is great. Then... You're already being worked, so I don't need to worry about that one. Basically, we just needed the modules. That was kind of the thing that was screwing us right now. You're already being built on too. So then are there any star bases we have that aren't? It's just the two. And you don't need... Nah, I'm not going to worry about upgrading you. I don't want to use the modules for the mining. No, not really. I'd rather save the module and use it for the research relic over here. So, okay. We do need to get pop out more, but honestly, our growth is still really horrible. So, how many turns? 11 months. God. I, I suppose it's probably based on the amount of population they have. I would assume. Alien, we know, uh, know this. We are ancient when the universe was new, but now we're only a dim shadow. Okay. We hope to build a future with you. I mean, not necessarily, but really, I just don't want to die. <laughs> so, I hope that someday we might be able to work together. Or, I hope we can work together until I can kill you. Uh, essentially, is the goal. Um, but, you know, I would not mind trading resources with you. Crane does not like us. Why are you losing? Why is this going down? You're ripe for conquest. Yeah, about that. I kind of am. I hate to say it. Um, I doubt you'll give me a tech. Yeah. Credits, 50 for open borders. Sure. Uh, hi. I would like to trade with you. I just trade with you. I need, uh, dang it. Yeah, we got to be really careful here. I don't know he's going to declare war on us because I imagine he's got other people. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Ah, there we go. There we go. So, Kryn's over there. Terran's over there. The Terran... So, both of them got their own systems. And both of their systems are about ten times the size of mine. Alright, that's, that's tom, totally fair. Totally fair. Totally fair. Whatever. Uh, this looks like a much... That looks like a really good system, or a good asteroid area. So I thought the exploration treaty we got, they were, uh, we were showing them what we had, but apparently not. I mean, we could also do, yeah, no, I'm not going to worry about that. If anything, we're going to want to do that towards the current star base uh, over here. So there is really not much I want here. So we're going to go like maybe, I mean, honestly, just go here. Like, it's not like we really need any of that stuff. So we're just going to put the pressure on him immediately. Uh, Oceanic Worlds is eight turns away. Still got a little bit of time till we have to worry about that. You're still, what, eight turns away? Nine months away. That's fine. Um, Extra research to all colonies or 50 research? No, give me the 50 research. Because uh, our colonies have no research right now. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna grab this and then probably heal a bit and then do the lightly defended one So this should speed up oceanic worlds quite a bit if not finish it all together I don't know how much research it's actually required For it, but it should be really quick. Yeah, it knocked out four turns. Okay, that's fine And then we have what two oceanic worlds we need to settle at least and then we have these little crap ones, too, we got to fill in. Which I'm a little less concerned about those. But we should beat the AI in it. We should keep drafting colonists. And at least settle those dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I hate to say it, but we do need to. Class 1, class 2, class 1, class 1, class 1, class 3. Is there anything? I know we have a couple 4s, I thought. Also, some of these might not be in our system now. 
Yeah, that's a problem. So he comes and settles in my area, even though he has amazing systems in his. Well, that's just wonderful. One, one, two. Oh, we have a 17 right there that I've never, I forgot about. All right. Um, hi. Sorry, people. I know you already hate me, but you're going to hate me a little bit more. It, it's very important that we keep settling. It is very important we keep settling as quickly as possible. Just going to throw that out there. Although maybe I want to save you for the Oceanic world. I mean, this is a 17, which is a pretty dang good planet. Uh, that's a 19. You know, I could just send you over there. You're a 21. I should think. I think I'm going to send you over here instead. Because it's going to be a few turns before we can re um, redo it. So, yeah, we'll just go that way then. Um, I don't have money to help you. Screw you, dude. <laughs> it would be one thing if we were, like, killing it right now, but we're kind of, like, dying over here. So, yeah, no. No, you help me, buddy, if anything. Uh, I'm going to build a probe because we do want to go scout to the south. And then give me another asteroid miner, I think. Are there asteroids over by you? There are. Interesting. How is this going? He's up to three now. Seven months remaining. Urgh. I'm worried about him, like, building a fleet large enough to actually kill me. But, like, he's still got these three ships here. Actually, that's an asteroid miner. And that's a cargo hold. Oh, okay. No, I'm totally safe to do this. I Here, I thought these guys were actually attack ships. And I was all worried that they were going to come and kill me. Did that reset my... That did not reset my thing. So, um... Interesting that... Hmm. They don't have any moves. Breaking the fleet, like, ended the turn for them. Kind of strange. So, yeah, we gotta go kill him. He's popping out a new ship in three turns, so we'll be able to get back in time. Uh, we might take some damage. I don't know. Yeah, probably not, because we got good shields. Unless he's shooting missiles, which I don't think he... Ah, uh, he is, actually. You know, we might actually take some damage here. Okay, we didn't lose anything, but we did take some damage. That's fine. Yeah, we, we got to stay on top of them from here on out. We've been covered a precursor probe orbiting Ferenbach. Interesting. Gives us sensor power to all sit, uh, yeah, whatever. Stargazer ship or 500 money. Give me the ship. I mean, I really want the Stargazer, but that's kind of hard to say no to a free ship. So the question is, where is this ship? Discovery. Okay, so you finished. You got some antimatter. Um, I'm going to go throw you inside the starport, which I think lets you repair quicker. Um, so discovery, constructor, asteroid miner, transport, colony ship, supply ship, Jason fleet. So maybe it didn't pop out right now, or the other question is, was that a... I was wondering if it was going to be one of these ships. No, actually. I wonder if I should have taken the 500 money. You know, the 500 money would have been way better, I think, now that I think about it. I mean, what's one ship going to do for us? Especially since the ship doesn't appear to even exist. Um, Because the 500 gold, we could have rushed some production on our planets and got them going. <laughs> so they weren't just complete trash. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Oceanic worlds are done. Good. 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 Production of our worlds... Probably. Allows us to upgrade manufacturing. Diplomacy. Non-aggression pact. Basic missile weapons. Advanced systems. It's kind of nice. New anomalies would also be nice, but I don't really have the ships right now. I think we got to do Xeno manufacturing. Because our manufacturing is bad. 
to say the least. So, you know, maybe it's because they were sieging down. That's why they broke. Okay, do I have this ship? No. Ah, I have to build it. It's a probe. Well, that's kind of dumb. It ha it's a probe with a lot more HP. Dang, I should have taken the 500 gold. <laughs> Dang, I should have taken that 500. Oh, oh man, that's 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 just sad. I'm a little concerned about the Kryn flying around over here. I mean, they definitely have fleets. Um, those are probes. Yeah, I mean, they have the one fleet, but still, definitely concerning. All right, let's go ahead and do Starbase here. Military would not be a bad thing. Brian, you needed the... Shut up, I know. I know. Can I trade for modules? Also, that killed my income. Hmm, interesting. Uh, hi, can I trade for modules? Is that, like, something we can do here? Yes. Um... I got a lot of duranium. So do you. So do you. We already traded with you recently. You do not. But you don't have a lot of modules. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Hey! How many credits for that? Oi. Oi. Uh, hey, humans. Yeah, all my money is still not enough. I kind of hate giving away my only tech. But you know what? Humans like us. So we're going to do it. So the humans like us. So I don't really mind if they get, become a little more strong. Uh, give me the archaeology lab. And I don't really care about you. That's fine. Okay, so you're going to start putting some influence, which is good. And more importantly, you're now working on the research relic. Well, next turn you'll be working on the research relic. All right, so... Oh, this is serious. Aha! We need more housing. Yes. We also now have the supply depot. It's actually going to be done in one turn. Okay. I can dig that. How's our food? We are not starving anymore. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Things are beginning to look up here. Things are starting to roll. Um, we did finish the double research. Population is a long way. We can't really do food here. Um, hmm. Elon's lived now. Absolutely not. We could get the extra research here. We'd have to go there, which I don't really necessarily like. We could pop out the plus one financial. Don't really like that. We could go more recreation. Or honestly, we could just keep doing manufacturing. I thought it's really doing much for us right now. Trade network. Does it give us an extra 10% gross income? Yeah, you know what? I like it. I like it. And then we'll do financial. 10% uh, extra income on our capital seems like a decent uh, use. So that then should be... Yeah. Good. And that was actually how many? One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's going to give you... <laughs> uh, almost... Actually, over a fourth more production. Which, you know... Or what? Actually, that's wrong. 25% more production. Something like that. Okay, how many turns do we got left here, buddy? Four months. Good. Ocean planets can be settled in a little more than that, so that's good. We still have another planet here, but we gotta wait to draft colonists again. Um, artifacts doesn't help me right now. We finished the first probe. We shall send you over there. Congrats. There could also be something over here. We don't know. But the fact that we've not seen anyone else come this direction leads me to believe that probably not. Are you coming to steal you, punk? 
Now, what would be nice is if these two dudes would declare war on each other. You know, let the big boys fight while we just kind of like, you know, act all tiny and, you know, crap. And then hopefully at some point we could go fight back. So it's only one ship. I'm not going to worry about it right now. They're under siege in four turns. I just don't want to accidentally screw up the siege. Uh, three turns. Yeah, they won't be able to pop out another ship in time. Nah. Yeah, I, I just don't want to accidentally screw up the siege. So we're just going to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Um, we are putting some culture flip in. That's good. We got another research relic, which admittedly isn't doing a lot for us, but it's it's something. It's something. Keep advancing. I love all the little... Oh, those are asteroids. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, I love the little transports or the little um, space traffic. It would be kind of cool if there was like a little space traffic, but that'd probably just screw up the... It would just require so much more processor, probably. And that wouldn't be worth it. I do love how they're going for the Ascension Crystal, even though, remember, they do nothing. Also, um, what? Who did this? Who's yellow? Yeah, who the hell is yellow? Oh, that must be the, 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 um, the buggy dudes. No. Ah, what? Crap. So, they declared war on us. That's not good. That's not good at all. No. Not in the least bit. They have ships here. They're not particularly great. Um... You know what? Give me the approval for the war. I gotta finish taking you, and then... Like, here's the problem. They're just gonna be able to go steal my colonies. Oh, this is annoying. Can I go steal his? Actually, yes. Totally. He has medium hole ships. Well, then. This might be a restart, guys. <laughs> This really is not working out well for us. No. No. I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of sucked. Um, Primarily was the fact that we decided to declare war on this guy before we could literally do anything about it. What are they doing? They're attacking my asteroid belt? I didn't even know you could do that. All right. Well, screw you too, bud. Yeah, I think we're going to try again here, and the goal is going to be to basically not suck as much. Actually, I think three things really screwed us. Our home planet sucks, which is probably going to be always the case. Um, I think number two problem was the fact that we got that pathogen so early that just absolutely killed our, 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 our home colony. Like, we just couldn't do anything with it forever. And then number three, we kind of probably screwed up how we built Cirrus. And so we were just kind of behind the eight ball from the get-go here, so... Yeah, I think tomorrow we're just going to go ahead and try again. Probably same settings. Probably just load in with the same settings and we'll go from there. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game coming. Share your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.